Good morning everyone, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. Can you hear that bird in the background? Can you just hear an aeroplane now? <laughs> yeah, he's really chirping away. Um, I'm here today. To... Oh, something's rustling in my shed and I think it might be a mouse. Hopefully he stays on his side of the shed and I'll stay on mine. <laughs> oh. It's been one heck of a weekend for me. My kitchen ceiling fell through, thanks to a leak in the bathroom above it, our new bathroom, by the way. Um, but it's all fixed now. It's just been incredibly hectic and very, very stressful, which is why I just haven't been down here like I normally would be. Um, I'm gonna try and get down here a bit more now. Whoa, that's the mouse bird. A little bit of damage to the plot, so I'm gonna go around and fix some of the damage to the plot first. I think we had strong winds or something. And then I brought some leeks to plant out and um yeah we'll just see where we go from there really so i'm gonna just show you some of the damage from the plot um so i'll do that first <laughs> right so come with me on a journey of destruction obviously this has fallen down because it wasn't actually held up by anything luckily it didn't crush too many of the tulips and um, so i have to sort that out obviously the scarecrow's down but he's always down he's useless he is oh goodness um some of the broad beans have started to bend over and sort of snap a bit in this wind so I'm going to have to retie these which is another job and then the journey of destruction continues um, on my new pea, pea structure here which is really a bean structure but at the moment it's got peas and the top's just basically fallen off so luckily I don't think it's damaged any of the peas below but what we'll do is we'll just get this all fixed really The other thing I'm going to do is just tie some of these peas in and the ones that are flopping about because though peas can climb themselves, you know, they can sort their own lives out really, they do need a little bit of a helping hand when they're really little because otherwise they will just flop all over the place like mine are um, and it just helps them know where to climb, like what direction to go in. Oh, get off spindle, spindle! If you were doing your job properly, I wouldn't have to be doing this to you. Come on, that's it. I think it's always sort of surprised me of how much human help some plants need to get going. Like when I started gardening, I sort of thought that plants could just sort of take care of themselves. And for the most part they can, but you'd be surprised of how many plants need sort of human hands in order to like thrive. Do you know what I mean? Like if I didn't tie these in, they'd flop everywhere and probably half of them would die. The other half would figure it out, but you know, I want more than half. So sometimes you've got to step in. There you are. I'm not tying them too tightly, by the way, just quite loosely, um, just to keep them up, really. Keep them up. <laughs> They're a bit flaccid at the moment. <laughs> hey guys, where's your head gone? Someone eating your head. Think about what buzz that could be. All happy, all tied in. Yes. Right, peas all tied in. Whenever I do a job like that, someone always comes up in the comments and goes, You can tie those with cable ties, you know. I haven't got any bleeding cable ties. I'm not a serial killer. I don't keep cable ties in my shed. I don't know where people get cable ties from. It just reminds me of serial killers. Um, but I just did it with twine. Just garden twine, just tied it in, just don't tie it too tight. Yeah, anyway, right, so there we go, they're all tied in. They won't flippy floppy about anymore and hopefully that means that they'll just grow up and learn where to go. Because you've got to tell them. Right, second job of the day, another maintenance job, is to try and keep these broad beans going. Now, I think I need to tie this string a bit tighter. I mean twine, whatever it is. Um, I need to tie it a bit tighter, so we're going to do that. 
one of them's really flopped over and I'm going to try and rescue him. Broad beans are becoming the bane of my life, they really are. I don't even like broad beans. Oh dear. Not how you're supposed to do it. It's all right. Big. They're growing too big. Why are they growing so bleeding big? The problem with plants is that they never do what they want them to do. Um, they're growing too big and too like heavy, and they're not growing straight. Why don't they grow straight on their own? They should know to grow up. Do they just do this in the wild? And the thing is, is the slugs and snails they love to pick on the most vulnerable, like this one. This one's flopped over and he's got a slug there and a slug there. Honestly, just because it's been flopped over for a little bit, it's like they know the weak ones. They know. Oh God, I don't know if these are gonna do anything. That one's sort of up now, but hopefully it'll stay up. I don't know. Maybe they're just nervous. Right, I sort of feel like most of them are standing a little bit more up right now. Why they just don't learn how to stand up on their own, I don't know. And now I can understand why it's easier to plant broad, broad beans in lines. Just because you can support them a bit easier. Because it's all crisscrossing everywhere. It's just like spaghetti junction in there. Spaghetti junction made of twine. Still, there we go. If I get a couple of broad beans, I'll be happy to be honest. So, that'll do, that'll do. The plants are growing, they're standing up and the slugs are happy, so I must be doing something right. Um, right, okay, I'm going to sort out the front of the plot now. So a few weeks ago I sowed some leeks and here they are. <laughs> Probably one of the worst things, worst looking things I've ever sown in my life. And if you're a follower of this channel for a while you'll know that I've always struggled with leeks. Leeks just never grow for me even though everyone says it's a really easy crop to grow. I just can't get them to grow. So last year I grew them in a big tray and tried to prick them out and they all died. This year I put them into these coir things and just put a few seeds in and they've just gone all floppy and floppy whoppy and just not happy so I don't blooming know what's going on with them but I thought the best thing to do is probably to whack them out because I know they can go out in this kind of weather so I thought I'd just whack them out in my new bed um, and just see if they keep growing or if they die they actually look a bit worse now than they did at home don't know, don't know the answer to that I might water them done anything? No. <laughs> I know you can sew them all out together but I don't want to lose them. I don't want to lose any because I haven't got that many. I think what I'll do is I'll rip it. Oh god. Oh my god. This is done it right. Right, okay, whack it in, whack it in, whack it in. Whack it, oh gosh, it's so little. Ridiculous, it doesn't look like anything. Oh my god. Whacking them in, whacking them in. We don't really know what we're doing. That's ridiculous, it doesn't look like anything. It's just like a blade of grass in the ground. I'm just gonna pull it up as a weed. From what I know about leeks is that you're supposed to plant them out when they get to like the size of a pencil, but obviously mine are flippy flopping everywhere. They're not going to get to a pencil size, they're just going to get to a piece of grass size. So I'm just going to whack them in anyway, but this is sort of what they're looking like, whacked in the ground. Like literally just a blade of grass. But I'll just whack them all in anyway and just see what happens to them. Who knows? Maybe that will become a leek. Or maybe I'll rip it up as a piece of grass and forget. 
Who knows? I very slowly fell over then. I <laughs> like fell over in slow motion. Like I didn't know what was happening. It's almost like the ground gave way. I can't get up. <laughs> okay, I'm up. I don't know if they're gonna work or not. They look really ridiculous to me. Right, there they are in the ground. I don't know if they do anything. They sort of look like little blades of grass to me and they've all flippy flopped over where I've watered them. And there's a stick on that one. That's not gonna help, it's gonna kill it. I mean, look, if they get killed by a stick, they're sort of goners, aren't they? But hey, I didn't think the uh, parsnips would come up and they've all come up. So who knows? Who bleeding knows? Right, I've sort of managed to fix my camera halfway through the vlog, which is a bit annoying. I don't know if you noticed, it was all really bright. Um, there we go, that's what happens. That's what happens when you try and film everything that you do instead of just doing it, or filming it. It's when you try and do both, anyway. It is such a good, a good time of year to be down here as well, especially when things go wrong at home, or like you have a really stressful time. Um, just being able to come here for a few hours and clear your head is amazing. It hasn't quite worked today because I think things have been incredibly difficult at the moment um, in my personal life which has just it's just not going to help just being here but it has helped a little bit and I think that's important to take you know to take away I can't wait for things to get going and get growing and they already are and it's such an exciting time of year I absolutely love spring um, I think it's just that excitement and that hope for the future and I really need that in my life right now like more than ever I think I really need hope and something to look forward to um, and just some good blooming news really I know that things will get better just like I know that the plot will grow as the sun comes out and the soil warms up and things things just will grow and it will be amazing I think you always have to have that hope in life that things will get better and to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel just like the same way that I look at my plot in the winter time and I know that in the spring summer it's all going to be growing. Anyway, I do really hope that things are going good with you, better than me, they can't be going any worse, let me tell you that. Um, and I hope that you're enjoying your plots and let's all just hope for the spring over the Easter and let's hope for the sun over the Easter even and the warmer weather because I think we could all use it this year. Things are changing, things are growing, things are looking exciting and join me on my allotment diaries every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Um, sometimes I skip Friday because I'm so busy but fingers crossed Monday, Wednesday and Friday for my allotment journey and I will take you with me and show you exactly what's growing and what's going on here so thank you for joining me subscribe if you can and i will see you in my next vlog which will be on friday see you friday guys bye